Angela Rippon has spoken out to Express.co.uk about being embroiled in controversy in the weeks building up to her Strictly Come Dancing departure. Angela Rippon made it all the way to Blackpool in her Strictly Come Dancing journey with partner Kai Widrington. However, despite impressing viewers with her youthful energy and skills in the ballroom, the legendary BBC journalist faced more than her fair share of backlash in the competition, and she has now addressed the controversy. The rip-off Britain host sailed through two dance-offs before she lost out to Bobby Brazier and Diane Buswell in the legendary Blackpool Tower Ballroom. Unfortunately for the 79-year-old TV star, some Strictly viewers were incensed that she had knocked out fan-favorite Krishnan Guru Murthy and prior to that, Adam Thomas, despite making some mistakes in her performances. Speaking out on the backlash, Angela admitted in an exclusive interview with Express that although it was hard to face off against her friends for a place in the competition, she was fully aware of how the program works. The former Come Dancing presenter candidly said, You know, it's an entertainment program. And the thing is, I think there were 15 of us that started out, but only three people are going to be in the final, and only one is going to win. So you know that along the way, people are going to be eliminated, and you know that before you start, so that is something that happens in the program. You know that along the way, you'll lose people. If it's 15 people, 12 people are going to have to go. You just know that along the way each week someone is going to have to be eliminated. And you just have to prepare yourself for that and accept it. Seeming unfazed by the criticism, Angela acknowledged that viewers will be passionately backing their favorites to make it through each week. She added, And, obviously, if you're a viewer, you want your favorite to stay in, but only one person is going to lift that glitter ball out of all the ones that started. So everyone else has had to go through that awful moment of standing under the red light and being told, Yes, you have to be in the dance-off and then listen to the judges as they decide which one it's going to be. It's part of what you do as part of the program, and I think as the pool gets smaller, you prepare yourself for the fact that this week, it could be you.